let us begin Storage Developer Conference 2007. So what, what happens is that the ordering in the transaction group is expressing the logical dependency between this, these IOs. And so why XAM? Well, <clears throat> starting up here, uh, end users, basically end users want choice between different application vendors. Um, and something that used to be fairly ugly and disruptive and you need to plan downtime for, you could actually do um, you know, kind of in the middle of the day, potentially, without the clients really having to uh, have more than a uh, small pickup. And because it's driven by economic fundamentals, as they say, resistance is futile. And I, I have to say, too, um, as much as I love Star Trek, in the real world, you know how that scene ends. So in general, what does it take to make a file system be able to be a root file system? First, you have to be able to boot off of it. This is where it gets even more complicated. So migration is this function that lets you take a guest operating system, and suppose your server is running at capacity, and you want it, things are running too slow. So you have another server over here that's not doing anything. You want to migrate the task. And the cool thing Hopefully a common API across OS's. Uh, it both enables small-scale um, management applications as well as uh, an enabler for uh, SMIS with respect to the iSCSI initiator profile. And And containers then allow you to turn around and allocate um, quality of service between certain containers. So this could be a, your ma low-end mail server over here, which you don't want to ca or, you know, um, overpower your. Let's say you have a, a set of the uh, device product pro uh, supported by the uh, plugin, and then for some reason, you don't want to have a certain product you know, supported. Then you just uh, uh, can do the, you know, just call this an interface to remove the certain product from the supported device product list for the certain plugin. The other thing you want to do is, is collect historical information. So you're not just concerned about the current state of what's in these pages. You're also concerned about what has been the, the track record, the history of those pages over time. Why is doc thread? used for timeouts and uh, knob checks. So this thread is always running, and after every second, it looks at your queues, command queues, and find out if the command has not completed for uh, its uh, timeout period, which is 60 seconds. Interaction between the client and server. So that's the well-defined protocol of how the client and server interacts, and we're doing the split between metadata server and data server, so that's all well-defined. Uh, but there isn't a definition um, currently, there is actually a lot of things uh, which in, in Comstar which are around scalability, but what it does is it tries to avoid race conditions as much as possible. So anything which doesn't have to be performance related is done in a single-threaded manner, so that you know. 